over during, during January work towards a memorandum of agreement on how we're going to work together um, to monitor how Vela is going to operate and still achieve the, 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 the objectives and the principles that the, the action group and, um, wanted to achieve last year, which was to keep the, the, um, the heritage site and the Mapunguru National Park you know, maintain the values, the true values of that park, mm -hmm. and not allow it to become um, uh, impacted on by the by the mine. So they're going to be intimately involved in how we do that. Together. This is almost setting a precedent in terms of how mining needs to be done in these environmentally sensitive areas. So, what's your assessment of the quality of your relationship with these environmental groups at this stage? It sh look, it sure is setting a precedent, and it's setting going to be setting a much higher benchmark than what has been the norm in this country for mining uh, authorizations in an area. Um, but then it's not a normal area either. It's got many, many other sensitivities, which is why we've had the controversy over the last year. Um, in terms of our relationship, well, we need to build that. You know, we need to build a trust together. We need to build a relationship on how we're going to do this, how we're both going to achieve our goals through working together. Of course, one of your goals is to get production up and going in the first half of next sure. year. Are you on track to meeting that target? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Taking and, and a look at production that's expected to come through from that side, what are we looking at? We're looking at hopefully building up to a million tonnes per annum by the end of the year. And that will be dependent on a, lot, a, lot, a number of issues, mainly the logistical and the market will really probably drive the rate of, of, of re how quickly we reach that, that number. Let's take a look at things because yesterday investors are really uh, reacting positively to this news that filtered through. We had coal shares increasing 10.3 percent. It hit 6 rand 62 in yesterday's session and that marking the biggest percentage climb in more than a month. So certainly the market positive about the road ahead. What demand are you catering to? Look, the markets at the moment, um, as we all know, the markets are skittish. <laughs> And it all depends probably on what the, la what the latest news that comes out of Greece or Italy or Europe in, in general. Mm -hmm. um, and, that, and the impact on what the market feels about commodities and coal in particular. So I think I don't want to read too much into it because it goes down just as quickly at the moment as it goes up. But it is good news in that, one, it helps um, de-risk the company to some extent. Um, and that we are actually working with, with this, our stakeholders. Yep, but in terms positively. of demand that you're catering to, local or export? It could be, it's going to be a combination of both. Um, what Vela will produce is a semi-soft coking coal and possibly a thermal coal. And both of those will have both domestic and export potential. In terms of the capital investment that we're looking at on mm. the onset, what are we looking at? Because that is going to be a factor that the markets are going to consider when con evaluating return on investment. Well, look, there's 600 million rand that's already been sunk into Vela. Um, and bef there's about another 60 or 70 million rand that we need to do to need to complete the capital program there so to get the mine going. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to take us 6 to 12 months to get the mine onto some sort of even keel. So that's how long we're going to have to wait before we see the full impact of this Vela colliery yes. and uh, production at this site actually filtering through to the bottom line. Yeah, well, to the bottom line, yeah. The production will start in the first quarter, but, mm -hmm. you know, it takes time. You, um, particularly the market, it's a new product, so you first have to test the product on on the market and that takes usually three to six months as well and then after that it should start to stabilize and normalize. In assessing the road ahead, is this the last of the hurdles that you've you've had to climb uh, or are there other challenges that you foresee? At Vele? Mm -hmm. There's lots of challenges always, <laughs> that's the, the nature of mining but and, and you know this and, and for example this relationship that we started yesterday um, with the Mapungu, with the action group and with the coalition is going to be a tough one because we're coming from opposite sides of the fence and we need to both um, learn how to work together and compromise and learn how to disagree and how and 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 find ways of resolving our differences. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a continuous challenge and it's going to be a mine that needs to, we're also learning now, it's going to be a mine that needs to operate at different levels to what has been the norm.